Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm a victim of my own gaslighting. Um, I used to have uh, halogen work lights, big ones that you plugged in, um, and they would just get blazing hot. Sometimes you'd hear something burning, and if they didn't vent well or you didn't have enough air movement, sometimes they could melt. Um, and I, what I ended up doing is getting into the LED lighting, like this Milwaukee here. Um, Milwaukee makes a bunch of great lights, and I kind of got into those and started using those exclusively. And the gas lighting part is basically my work environment was not very bright, um, but I didn't really know. And it <laughs> kind of shocked me when um, Viver sent me a set of uh, plug-in LED work lights. These are 10,000 lumen, 5,000 K work lights. And I plugged them in and I was shocked because I was so used to using small small numbers of lumens in um, basically a, uh, a battery powered device, although some of them I had plugins for, um, but it was nothing like this. So I was glad that they sent me these. I made, made that reference before, but anyway, here they are. Um, you get about a three foot to five and a half foot um, length on the um, on the stand, uses a tripod mount, this is the back side of it, so it uses a splitter here, you plug it in um, and kick these on, simple push button. The 5000 loom, or the 5000K is actually um, a pretty good number for a workshop. It means that, you know, the, the stuff, the metal stuff is going to stand out. You might go a little lower, 4000, 4500 if you were doing more in the carpentry, but um, for a uh, a workshop, a garage, something like that, you know, anything where you really need a clean, kind of precise lighting, then the 5000K is great. Um, but the cost of these, um, they're, they're around 70 bucks on Amazon, a little over. Um, real simple design, really quite handy. Of course, there's lots of choices, but um, these can run on or off the stand. You can mount these if you wanted to, you know, bolt these to a, uh, um, a location if you were making a studio or something. But one of the things that I really like is this right here. I can just flip this up, release it, and then I've got a smaller work light. And this is what I loved about the, um, the Milwaukee lights that I used is, is the simple portability. It's that fast. And then if I want to throw it back on the stand, drop it on, you know, and I'm doing all this one-handed here, and then hook the uh, wire on, and there it is. And now I've got, got it up on the stand. Um, there is a, um, a, some cord management on the stand and a little level. Um, but overall, you know, a real simple design. Very effective. Um, good cooling. I mean, I've turned these on and you feel pretty much nothing. And again, I was so used to those halogen ones, those dangerous halogen ones, that I just, I gaslighted myself. I basically thought I needed a, just the standard battery-powered LEDs. That's where we were. But then when I started using these and realized just how much light I was missing, um, I, I'm a convert again to the AC plug-in lights. Um, and in particular, um, this 10,000 lumen Viver light. And with that, Doc out.